안녕! So, this is real Korean class with hmm, world best Korean teacher, Yujin. <laughs> okay, so today's video is on the differences among 아어두다, 아어노타, 은채로. This is requested by 푹티홍씨. Um, did I read your name correctly? I tried to read it in Korean style. Yeah. Well, these three phrases I hadn't realized until I got this question that the learner may feel confused with 은채로. And the other two. So, thanks for your suggestion, and I hope this video can be helpful um, to understand those differences among these three phrases. Okay, I won't beat around the bush anymore, but begin the lecture right away. So, are you ready? 준비됐어요? 시작할까요? Okay, so to understand the differences among 아어두다, 아어노타, 은채로. Let's check the exact meaning of each phrases and then see the differences. So, first, 아어두다. 앞에 말이 나타내는 행동을 끝내고 그 결과를 유지함을 나타내는 표현. An expression used to indicate that a certain act mentioned in preceding statement is completed and its result remains. So, um, hey, where is the apple I bought yesterday? 내가 어제 산 사과 어디 있어? Oh, I've put it in the refrigerator. 아, 냉장고에 넣어뒀어. So, 냉장고에 넣어뒀어. Is it different from 넣었어? 냉장고에 넣었어? I mean, 넣다 without 아오두다. 넣어뒀어. 넣었어. Yes, there is. As we see the meaning, it means the result of action. The action. What was the action? Put the apple in the refrigerator. Yes, this action remains. So, the apple is still in the refrigerator. But if you say 냉장고에 넣었다, mm -hmm, you just say the action is action was in the past, so apple may not be there anymore. Like um, you put it in the refrigerator, and last night you took it out and ate it. But still, you can say 냉장고에 넣었어. Because you only mention about the action, action in the past, the action, put it in the refrigerator. So, you don't care about the status after the action. So, that's the difference between 넣었다, 넣어두다. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 어두다, you did action and the result is still sustained. And 아오노타, well, 아오노타 is same. Oh, really? Let's check the dictionary. 앞말이 뜻하는 행동을 끝내고 그 결과를 유지함을 나타내는 말. Oh, yes, quite right. It's same with 아오두다. So, there, um, as you see in the dictionary, there is another meaning of 아오노타, like 앞에 말이 나타내는 상태의 지속을 강조하는 표현. An expression used to stress that the state mentioned in the preceding element, uh, statement is continued. But this isn't the one we will do today. So, just let's take the first meaning. Mm -hmm. 앞말이 뜻하는 행동을 끝내고 그 결과를 유지함을 나타내는 말. Yes, we will only see this meaning. So, at last, 아오두다 and 아오노타. They have same meaning according to the dictionary. Yes, right? But are they totally same? Hmm, not really. Well, we will see the differences um, after we see the meaning of 은채로. Okay, then the meaning of 은채로. Mm -hmm. 이미 있는 상태 그대로 있다는 뜻을 나타내는 말. An expression used to indicate that the state remains the same 
as when a certain act mentioned in the preceding statement occurred. Yo, oh, then I think it sounds similar to 아오두다 in 아오무타. So you did some action and the result of this action, the status, still remains, right? Yes, they have similar meaning. Then let's check the differences. Okay, differences. As you see, 아오두다 and 아오노타 have similar meaning. So I will put 아오두다 and 아오노타 as one group, group A, and compare this group A with group B, 은채로. And then look at the differences between 아오두다 and 아오노타. So first, group A versus group B. 아오두다 and 아오노타 versus 은채로. Well, some of you may sense the differences already uh -huh, from its grammatical form. So, what's the difference that you can sense from its grammatical form? Yes, 아오두다 and 아오노타. They are finished with 다, uh -huh, which means its final ending, while 은채로, uh -huh, its connective ending. Yes, when you um, finish the sentence, you use ta, right? So when you memorize the verb and adjective, the original form finished with ta, like 예쁘다, 가다, 오다, 먹다, like this, 두다, 놓다. Yes, these two are final ending. Uh huh. 은채로, this is connective ending. So when you use 은채로. You have to use another clause after 은채로. As you see, verb 1, 은채로, and you have to use another clause, right? Another clause, which means there must be another verb. Yeah. So um, you do the action in preceding statement, like here. You do action 1, verb 1, and then you do another action Why the result of the first action is sustained. So you do action, you do verb 2, uh -huh, while the result of verb 1 is remained. Uh -huh. Yes, like, um, uh, yeah. So you wear the pajamas and go out wearing it. So verb 1, you wear, wear the pajamas, and verb 2, go out. So. 잠옷을 입은 채로 밖에 나갔어요. Like this, you always have to describe following action when you use 은채로. On the other hand, if you use 아오두다, 아오노타, you don't need to do any other action. You can only describe one action as long as the, as long as the result is sustained. Like, um, so your pajamas, yeah, for the case you fell into sleep, but you haven't, you haven't done any other action, still you can use 아오두다 or 아오노타. Like, 잠옷을 입어 두었어요. 잠옷을 입어 놓았어요. Yes, like this. You haven't done any other action. You did just one action, wearing the pajamas. And still you can use 아오두다, 아오노타. So, um, wait. So, it's like this. You do the first verb, verb 1, and the result is still remains. And while the result is sustained, you do verb 2. However, when you use 아오두다, 아오노타, the result of this verb just remains. You didn't do anything. You haven't done anything, any other thing, but still, why, as long as the result of this verb 1 sustained, you can use 아오두다, 아오노타. Yes, so um, the first difference is 은채로 is connective ending, so you have to use it when you do another action. Then let's check the differences between 아오두다 and 아오노타. Well, tell you the truth, it's really, really, really subtle, very small, subtle differences. 
even native Korean, people cannot answer easily. And there are so many arguments on this issue. So I will make it so simple to minimize um, the difference. Well, 아 어두다. This implies that you do the action to prepare something. Yes. You did this action to prepare for something. Uh huh. So um, you can only use with the verb, which is um, a benefit to the agent of the action. So let's see with the example. Mm. Jaewon has ruined the plan. Ruin, spoil, upset the plan. Um, 망치다, 망치다. Uh -huh. So 망치다 plus 어놓다. 망쳐놓다. 재원이 그 계획을 망쳐놓았어요. You see, ruin the plan isn't good thing for 재원. So you cannot use 어두다 in this case like 재원이 그 계획을 망쳐두었어요. Nope. When you use 아우두다, this verb, this action should be benefit to the agent. So, 재원이 그 계획을 망쳐놓았어요. It's okay. 재원이 그 계획을 망쳐두었어요. No. So, 어두다. Prepare, like, it implies you, you did this action to prepare something. So preparation plus benefit. So when the action is good thing for the agent, you can use both 아우두다 and 아우노타. Like, um, um, let's see. Oh, wait. Yes, you can use both, but they have different nuance. Like, um, 창문을 열어놓았어요. 창문을 열어 두었어요. Well, uh, you can translate it as um, I have opened the window. Like, like you did action, open the window and you keep it open. So I have opened the window. Uh -huh. So or window has been opened by me. Uh -huh. Yes, like this. But however, they have different nuance. Like when you say 열어 놓다, 창문을 열어 놓았다. You just open the window and keep it open. However, if you say 창문을 열어 두었어요, uh -huh. so it implies you did you open the window for prepare something and it is beneficial to you. Uh -huh. So you open the window and keep it open, but you did it for certain reason, like um, the guest will come in 30 minutes. So you want to make the air in the room fresh. So you open the window as a prepare, preparation for receiving a guest. Yes, yes. It implies this kind of meaning. Uh -huh. So finished. Uh -huh. So to summarize, 은채로 아오도다 아오노타. Uh -huh. They all have meaning. You do some verb, you do some action. Uh -huh. And the result of did that action is sustained, uh -huh. then you use all these three phrases. However, 은채로 is connective ending, so you have to use 은채로 when you do another action. You keep the first action and then you do another action. Then you use 은채로, like verb 1 and verb 2. Um, however, 아오두다 and 아오노타, these, these are final endings, so you can use it when you do just one action. Um, but and difference between 아우두다 and 아우노타. Well, they have same meaning. You do action and the status is remained. Uh -huh. However, 아우두다 implies you did that action um, with certain purpose to prepare something. So you um, this action should be very good thing to the agent. So preparation and benefit. Okay, finished. Ah. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh -huh. And don't if you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And please, please um, let your friends know about this channel. Okay, 
Then I will come back with another video. 안녕!